Our whole liturgical year is really based on the life of Jesus. And Ash Wednesday is so important because it begins those 40 days of Lent when we participate in the Lord's own sufferings by our giving up different things for Lent or by taking on different good works for Lent and especially concentrating on the prayer and the fasting and the almsgiving. So in our liturgical year, as we live the Lord's life, Catholics are called to especially uh, identify and to follow the example of Jesus in his own self-sacrifice, in his own suffering, and in his own death, uh, because we look forward by that way to celebrating his resurrection. The ashes that we use on Ash Wednesday to sign our foreheads uh, are, have their origin in the palm, the leftover palm from Palm Sunday. So those palm are gathered, they are burnt, the ashes are gathered into a container and are saved for Ash Wednesday. And during our Ash Wednesday Mass, the ashes are blessed before they're placed upon our foreheads. So the ashes are a sacramental reminding us that our lives are here are only temporary and that our lives end up in ashes because we're, we were created from the dust of the earth. We return to it and the ashes remind us that we're created not merely for that time we have here, but that we're created for eternity. And so from the dust of those ashes, we rise from sin to the new life that Christ gives us in his resurrection. In our worlds today especially, when we have so many conveniences uh, available to us, we tend to take things for granted and we tend to expect that these things are there for us. And as Catholics, we're called not merely to live for self, but we're called to live for Christ. And giving things up means that we're very conscious that we're created not merely for ourselves, not merely for this world, but we're created to be with Christ forever and to live in Christ. And so as this world is our preparation for our eternity, we unite ourselves to Christ's own suffering and death and look forward to sharing in his resurrection. And just as he lived for others, we challenge ourselves and our lengthy sacrifices to live for others. My goal during this Lent is not to waste time, but rather to use my time more efficiently to be very conscious of the time that God gives to me and that this time is given to me so that I can be in service to him. So I'm especially concentrating on this Lent to be sure not to waste time.